Today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at the conditioning drills we do to make sure that my shoulders are in top notch shape for fights. Obviously this is very early in camp and my conditioning is not stellar right now, but you'll get a general sense here of what we go through and then as I get further in camp, I'm going to pick it up more. We're starting off here with just non-stop straight punches. This is something that most gyms in general do, but this big body pad that we have is quite unique because it allows us to work on that sort of in tight, dirty boxing where you're just throwing those nice hard shots down low sticking real tight and in addition you're going to notice that Wayne is utilizing a little bit of footwork so he's not completely stationary that'll force me to move we're back to straight punches if you guys are ever working this just make sure you get your range down correctly so you're not jamming yourself nice long arms on those straight punches body shots as most of you guys know are some of my favorite punches to throw but I'm making mistakes there Wayne's keeping me honest uh, throughout the week of working with him, he was making sure that everything was really sharp. And I noticed some mistakes I've, ha you know, the bad habits I've developed over the last couple of years working mostly on my own. But hopefully, with his guidance early in camp, I'll be able to sort those out and then I'll have my other trainers work with me. Back to the straight punches. Again, all we're trying to do here is just develop that massive sizzle in the arms so that when you get into the fight and the arms get heavy, you can push through. And if you guys have not ever tried one of these belly pads or these body shields, I would say if I was giving them a rating out of 10, I would go there kind of a five or a six. They're honestly not my favorite thing to hit, but they are quite nice for the pad holder because he can take those shots and you don't feel anything. So if you guys are ever thinking about giving them a try, I would say go for it. But just be aware, they're quite expensive, and I don't know if they're worth the dollar value. But that's just my opinion. We're still in the first round here, and I'm pushing hard. I'm going to leave you guys to it. Watch for a little bit. I'm going to turn the volume up. You can hear me cracking the pads. I'll jump back in and explain some more of the video to you as we get further on. All right, into round two. This is a new drill. I've never done this one before. It was hook, hook off the left to right, and then right to left, left to right, right to left, back and forward. Really nice drill that Wayne made up. I mean, obviously other people have probably created it in the past, but I actually really liked it. And it's good to have a trainer who will give you new things that you've never done before. Obviously you can see right now we're picking up the pace. He wants a faster pitter patter sort of element here. We're going from light you can see light and then when he calls out hard then I pick it up right there now I'm going hard and he's keeping me honest on the slow section there making sure that he's slapping at my head again shoulder burnouts are something that are fantastic to make sure your conditioning is up but that doesn't mean the trainer should let you get away with sloppy technique and Wayne is doing a great job of making sure that I'm not getting sloppy his gym by the way is Sikido Dojo that is located in Surrey, which is just south of Vancouver. Sikido Dojo or Sikido Martial Arts, if you're looking it up on Google or something like that. Fantastic place to train. We had everybody out the other day watching the two of us hit pads. Right now we're just alone. But I got to meet so many students from there. Everybody's so friendly, so fantastic. It's definitely a spot you want to be going for training if you really like a great atmosphere and you want to make some friends and just have a great time. And obviously, as you guys can see, Wayne is a top-notch trainer. He's been actually helping me out since I believe about 2012, 2013 when we first started working together. We live 
about a two hour ferry ride apart so we don't get to train as much as we want. But these sessions that you're seeing right now are fantastic for me. Nice little spree of uppercuts here. And this is one that if you want to go fast, the technique is not perfect, but it's a really good shoulder burn down. As you guys can see, just hard work. That's all you have to do through these rounds so that your shoulders are just burning. And again, I will leave you guys to watch a little bit more with the sound turned up and I'll pop back in for round number three. And I'm back. And obviously you can see here, just getting that big burn in on the shoulders still. I really like this one here, when he has this, or he has me fire in multiple uppercuts on one side. You really get tempted to get lazy with the non-punching arm and I'm trying to keep it super tight. Fantastic drill for just getting that shoulder burning out on repeated punches over and over. And actually one that we used to do which is fantastic for burning down, is just throwing one punch for 30 seconds. Start with the jab, 30 seconds, as fast as you can, as hard as you can. You'll be surprised how quickly the arm fades out. Then you go to crosses, left hooks, right hooks, left uppercuts, and right uppercuts. You have three minutes through, you just burn down, and it's another drill that if you ever want to challenge yourself with a pad holder, give that one a try. So you guys can see here that I'm getting three rounds in, a little bit shy of the 10 minute mark between all three, but with the breaks, it would be right around 10 minutes. As I get deeper and deeper into camp, I need to start punching harder and making sure I'm taking less breaks. Now, most of you guys are probably looking going, wow, the punch rate is really high, but I know I can do better. It's just a matter of me starting to get my conditioning back up through those shoulders, but more importantly, the heart rate. And that's why I love these type of drills, because you are getting the shoulders, but at the same time, you're getting that cardio conditioning. So if you guys have not already started conditioning your shoulders, I'm going to throw a video up, a video link, with weights that you can do on your own at home. This is one that I utilize a lot during fight camp. Check this one out. Give it a try. And then, of course, if you have a pad holder or a partner and you can try the drilling that Wayne and I are doing today, Take Advantage is a fantastic way to just get your body shape, your conditioning up so fast. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you guys back here soon for another episode.